This workbook has a template with a table we have to fill in every month. We're going to set up a macro so that a new sheet will be automatically added every month based on this table and it will put the year and month number on the sheet tab for us. This is Deborah Dalglish from Contextures.com. This is my template sheet that I want to create a copy of for each month's data. I've named this sheet WKST underscore master, but you could use a different name and then just remember to put the name of your sheet into the macro. This template sheet has a table that starts in cell A1. You could have something completely different on your template. Just have a sheet set up that you want to make a copy of every month. The other thing to do is to save your file so that it can run macros. I've called this monthly sales XLSM, so that's macro enabled. You could also save in XLSB, a binary format, and that would let you save macros. We're going to be making a copy of this sheet exactly the way it is every month. So I want to make sure, first of all, that this sheet is set up exactly the way I want it to be copied. When I work in tables, I like to have the top row frozen. So I'm going to do that on the master. Click to select row two. I've got an icon on my quick access toolbar that will freeze the panes right there. If you don't have that, you can go to view, freeze panes, and freeze panes. And now you can see that very thin line. So that top row is frozen. It will always be visible when you go down your list. The other thing that I like to do is just select cell A1. Because if I've selected something over here, every time I create a new sheet, that cell will be selected and I'm gonna to have to make an extra click to get to the top of the sheet. So just little things that will make this more useful as you copy it every month. Next, we're going to add a macro to this workbook. You can get the code from my website. There'll be a link below this video. And there's also a sample file there that you can download and copy the code from that. So here's my website, and this is the page you'll be going to, Excel Worksheet Macros. And the section to look for here is Add Month Sheet Automatically. And the first macro that we're going to put in is going on to a regular code module. And here's the macro, and you would just copy all of this. So I'm going to select it here and control C to copy, and then go back to Excel. And to get into the Visual Basic Editor, I'm going to press the Alt key and F11. Now here's the Visual Basic Editor, and here's my project, monthlysales.xlsm. We can see Microsoft Excel objects. There is a sheet named Worksheet Master, and this workbook. We want to put this code on a regular module and there isn't one in this workbook yet. So with this workbook selected, I'm going up to the Insert menu and click Module. That creates another little folder called Modules and it's called Module 1. Here is where I want to paste the code. So I'm going to right click and paste. So this is the macro called Add Month Worksheet. It has some variables at the top. We're telling it we're gonna use a worksheet and that will be WS. WSM is going to represent our master sheet. We're going to create a name for that sheet and we're going to check and see if this sheet already exists. Because if we open our workbook in the middle of the month, we don't want it to create another sheet or replace the one that we had been working on. And there's a line here on error resume next. So if something goes a little wrong, it'll just keep chugging along here. We will set WSM to Sheets Worksheet Master. So that's what I called my sheet. But if you've used a different name for your sheet, you would replace this bit of text with the name of your sheet inside double quotes. We're going to create a name for the new worksheet. And to do that, we're going to format the current date in this format, four digit year and two digit number for the month. You could use a different format if you wanted. And we're going to check and see if the sheet name already exists using this formatted name. So it's going to check the length for a sheet with that name and the name of that sheet. 
Now, if it can't find that sheet, it's not going to have any length for the name. So if the sheet does exist, the length is going to be greater than zero. So this would be true. Our next step is only going to happen if that check is false. So the sheet doesn't exist. If it doesn't, it's going to copy our template, which is WSM, our master sheet, and it's going to put it after the first sheet. And this is another thing that you could change. You could change after to before. So it would go before the first sheet and it's the new sheet would always be the first thing in the workbook. That becomes the active sheet when it's inserted. So we're going to change its name right away and give it that name that we created up here with the formatted date. And then at the end, it just sets that variable of the master sheet to nothing just to tidy things up. If I just run this right now, we'll see what happens. So to run it, I'll just click anywhere in this macro and run and run this sub. And there's the sheet that it created for us using the current year and month number. I've deleted that test sheet that we created with this macro. And now there's one more thing to put into the Visual Basic Editor, and that is going to go into the This Workbook module. So double click there, and this is blank right now. And we're going to create something in the workbook, and it automatically created a workbook open event for us, and that's what we want to use. We want something to happen automatically when this workbook opens. And what we want this to do is run the macro that we just created. Now if we go back here to this module, this is the name. So I'm going to copy it, go back into this workbook, and just paste that right there. When the workbook opens, this event procedure will run this macro. And one last thing we'll do here is just change the name of this module. It's selected, and in this Properties window, I can see that name, Module 1. I'm going to change it to Mod Sheets. And there we go. I'm going to save this workbook and close the Visual Basic window. So now this workbook has one worksheet in it, and I'm going to close it and then reopen it and see what happens. So as soon as the workbook opens, you might see a warning about security. Macros have been disabled. Click Enable Content. And there's our new worksheet that's come in right after the first worksheet in this workbook. And if we closed and opened this again, nothing would happen to this sheet. The macro would stop running halfway down because the sheet already exists, so it doesn't have to create a new one. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.